Hi, I'm James and tonight I'm going to be sleeping in this World War II bunker. Why? I don't really know, but it's going to be fun. I honestly don't think it's going to be that bad. I've got electric, I've got internet, I've got lights. What, what, what else could you want? It's just like camping in a very stable tent underground. But I need some food. I'm going to go on a quick supply stop. I'm trying to think, what will I actually need? Food, obviously. Um, what food do I want? I am a little bit limited to the food that I can cook down there. I could do a fry up for the morning. Right, what do I need to get? Eggs, bacon, sausages. I need some snacks. Is this really a good idea? I kind of feel like I'm going to regret this. All right, I just finished my shopping there. I didn't really film because it's really awkward, but I'll show you what I've got. Got some pot noodles. I'm a student, don't judge. Got some mini muffins, the essentials. Got these malwam like things because uh, I need something to get me through. Got some bacon, some sausages for the morning. I got this little multi-tool thing because I saw it and I thought it'd be fitting. I don't know why I got it though. <laughs> Let's head home. So I'm just gathering everything up now. So I've got a waterproof bag that I'll put all my snacks in. Cooking stove, got a camp meal, torch, speaker, big bottles of water, snacks, computer and stuff, kettle, roll mat, pillow, sleeping bag, some blankets and some tables. And I think that should be all I need. Oh, and the most important thing, duct tape. Okay, I think it's time to get all of this down. It's meant to be self-inflating, but I'll speed it up a bit. What am I doing? It's time to get all the stuff down. Okay, well, I've got everything down now, but space is lacking a bit, so <laughs> I'll try and do something about that. Now what? <laughs> you can see I'm all set up in here, kind of. Um, so that's us in for the night. I mean, I'll probably go back out again, but dramatic effects. Okay, here's my setup. I've got a bag over there, a ring light there. I've got the lights around the outside, obviously. I've got my lights up there, but I think they might die because they're solar powered. Bag stuff there, sleeping bag here. I'm sat on a chair here. It's a bit cozy, I won't lie, but I've slept in worse places. <laughs> you know what? All of the stuff in here actually really helps with the sound. Yeah, this is going to be uh, interesting to say the least. So I decided just to put the bed on the side for now, just to give myself a little bit more room. But actually, this does give me pretty good insight for when I want to start putting things in here, because I do want to put a fitted bed in. It goes on this side here, and then a desk at the end, which I now think is quite doable. The reason why it's quite cosy in here at the minute is just because this doesn't really fit. It's not the right sizing. But hopefully, if I build my own thing to fit in here perfectly, it should work. So I'm doing all right at the minute. I've only been in here about half an hour. It's quite nice, actually. It's it's not cold, but it's a little bit on the cool side. I have got a heater, but I'm not going to turn it on just yet because I don't really need it. I think I'm probably going to make some dinner soon. I think it's safe to say I'm not going to get lonely in here. I'm going to be making my dinner soon. I've got one of these expedition packs. It's a spaghetti carbonara. These are meant for like hiking, fishing, emergency survival, it says there, or camping. I saw it on Amazon and I thought I'd give it a go. It was only like six quid, I think. Open the pouch and remove the oxygen absorber. Slowly add hot water, stir as you pour, and then close the pouch. Wait five minutes for the food to rehydrate. Stir again and enjoy your meal out of the pouch. Oh, you can freeze these as well. Made in East Yorkshire. It goes out of date in 2026. Wow. I guess it's like a really fancy pot noodle. <laughs> All right, let's get some water on the go. Got my food and I've got my water. It really is like a really fancy pot noodle, basically. So seal the pouch for a bit. 
I suppose that's to keep the heat in, let it cook. I'm probably doing this wrong. Hmm. So I think it's done now. Give it a, a taste test. That's all right, actually. I mean, the texture isn't perfect. I think I put too much water in there. It's starting to get a little bit chilly, so this is actually quite nice to warm me up. So I'm gonna do a live stream now whilst I eat this on TikTok, which I think will be interesting. I haven't done a live stream for quite some time, and I've never done one in the bunker before. It's, it is Eurovision night, and I think I've got some football thing on as well, so I don't know how many people I'm gonna have watching, but I'll give it a go. I'll let you know how it goes. So just finished a TikTok live, it's quite good fun, got some got some glow sticks out, got this cool ball, I quite like this, I've got a little octopus guy. A lot of people came on actually, it's quite good fun, I enjoyed that. Some people said the internet was a little bit off and on. Yeah, that went well, that went well, I'm glad I did that. What am I doing now? It's really cold in here actually. <laughs> I'm gonna put the heater on for a bit. So the heater is on, hopefully it will warm it up in here a little bit. Time is now... 9.22. Pretty really dark outside. I might have a wonder outside actually. I really like how the lights just come out the bunk like that. It looks kind of cool. So I'm just having a bit of a wonder around the garden. I've got a bat detector here. This actually picks up echolocation. Okay, they were birds. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think the batteries are dead. I haven't got any spare ones with me, but that's fine. I don't think you would know that there was someone sleeping in there. So it's going well, it's heated up a bit. I thought I'd just chill out now for a bit and watch some James Bond. Why not? You know what's mental is that I have my first A-level exam in 18 days and I'm sat underground in a World War II bunker watching James Bond. I bet it's gonna get not too nice a bit later, but actually right now, it just feels like I'm camping in a brick room. You know, I'm having a fun time. It's quite interesting, actually. I don't even know we exist. Am I right? <laughs> so I've just finished watching James Bond. I'm quite cosy in here actually, it's quite nice now. It's kind of weird seeing it from this angle because obviously I, <laughs> I'm not used to laying down in here. I'm thinking about watching a horror movie, but I feel like that'd be a really bad idea. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I watched part of Slender Man, gave up because uh, that was not a good film. So now I'm watching Rebel Wilson's new film, Sequel Year, Netflix. Maybe. So I just started hearing noises outside. It's probably just the wind or some animals or something. I really shouldn't have watched the start of Slender Man because uh, I'm a bit paranoid now. What if it's haunted in here? No, I'm being ridiculous. Like, but you know it's not real, but it's just like that little voice in the back of your head. I just went outside to stretch my legs, but I'm going back in now to go to sleep. Now, obviously, I'm doing this for a bit of fun. There's no real cause to me deciding to sleep in here tonight, but it is quite interesting to kind of think that this is how people 80 years ago actually had to spend their nights, apart from they weren't in here like I am, watching films and having a bit of fun. They were in here because bombs were being dropped on top of them. It's a very different experience. I'm not trying to be disrespectful at all. I think I've learned quite a lot from gaining the experience of actually spending a night in here. And you know, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video too. Some people want me to completely change this bunker. People want me to extend it, to paint it. Other people are getting annoyed that I've even gone down here. It's quite a mix from different people's perspective on kind of the morals of this piece of history. I've done what I feel is right and I've been very prominent that anything I do in here has to be reversible. Because at the end of the day, I have to be respectful to history. Now, I've just gone past midnight and I am absolutely shattered. <laughs> so I'm gonna head to sleep now. I don't know if I'm gonna get much sleep. The other thing I just thought is, in the morning, I'm not actually gonna know it's the day because it, I'm not gonna have any sunlight coming in. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. So it's the morning. I've literally just woken up. How did the sleep go? Not great. It was really, really cold. I was also really paranoid. I was thinking, like, what if someone comes in? Or, like, what if it's haunted or whatever? I think I need to go see a chiropractor now because my neck and my back and even my wrists are absolutely killing me. But having said all of that, it wasn't actually that bad. I've slept in worse places, believe it or not. I've now just got the heater on, hopefully try and warm up a bit, and now I'm going to go make some breakfast. My big light just went out. I think it ran out of battery. Oh dear. Oh, my back is killing me. 
it is kind of crazy to think that I've I've just slept underground. The last time someone would have spent a night in here was during the Second World War. That's mad. I never thought I'd be cooking in a World War II bunker. So that was an interesting experience to say the least and not necessarily a luxurious one but um, I'm glad I did it. It was it was very interesting, it was quite good fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you have made it to the end of the video, firstly, thank you and secondly, maybe consider subscribing. I am planning on doing more stuff like this in the future. But for now, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.